I'm Douglas Massey and today we're going to go over five things that will not only help you close more sales, but I'm also going to touch on some of the common mistakes that both new agents and even veteran agents make that can absolutely prevent you from getting the most out of our business final expense sales. But first, I'm going to ask that you go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. That way, YouTube will keep sharing our channel with new viewers. And you definitely want to subscribe if you're new. Uh, that way, you'll be notified when we do put out new final expense training videos. And we basically do that every week. So let's roll the intro and get right into the video, guys. Tip number one, you really should try to avoid working with one of these uh, free lead companies. I mean, anytime you're working a free lead, you're guaranteed to be paying a lot more for that lead than if you paid outright for it. And as far as I'm concerned, free leads are pretty much a scam because you're giving up a lot of your commission to get that lead. And in most cases, you're absolutely giving up more than half of your commission for a lead like that. And not only that, but anytime a company gives you free leads, the first few batches are usually like old leads that someone else couldn't sell. And in most cases, you're not going to be vested for two to three years. And what that means is all the sales that you make are going to belong to your contracting manager until that vesting point occurs. My point is, if you can sell, you're better off working with a company like ours where you get paid the full commissions, 100% and higher, you're vested on the first day, and you're responsible to pay for your freshly generated and never resold, totally exclusive final expense leads. If you want to close more sales and increase your chances for success, make sure you're working freshly generated leads and stop taking the pay cut. Before we get into tip number two, if you'll stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to get a copy of the aged lead door knocking script. This script is exactly what you want to say when you're door knocking old leads and it can easily be adjusted by just a few words when you're using it to door knock your new leads too. Tip number two, always get referrals. If you're not using this agent evaluation form to get referrals, you're definitely missing out on easy sales. I'll tell you what, just if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll also show you how to get a copy of this document for yourself. The two best times to ask for referrals are one, when you make your presentation and you don't make the sale, and two, when you deliver the policy. I mean, think about it. You have nothing to lose by pulling out the agent evaluation form when they don't buy and simply say, well, my boss requires me to turn in this evaluation form. Do you mind helping me? Then simply go over the form and get some easy referrals. Tip number three. Well, I just mentioned it. Always deliver your policies and get referrals. By delivering all your policies, you're doing two very important things. You're locking in the sale and you're making it easy for your new happy client to help make sure that their family gets protected too. Tip number four, if you're new to final expense sales, just go out and door knock your leads. Look, most of your sales are going to come from door knocking anyway. So if you're serious about being successful, just take the darn lead to the client's house, knock on the door and talk your way in. You'll find that it's usually easier to get in front of more people, which means making more presentations and closing more sales by door knocking the lead instead of calling ahead to set the appointment. Which leads us to tip number five. Work your way up to calling your leads. Okay, I know this goes against what I just said, but let me explain. If you're new, you need to learn the art of door knocking. And yes, you should door knock your leads for the first couple of months, unless, well, you're already a talented sales closer. I mean, you are strong on the phone, you've got obvious talent, and you have enough final expense direct mail leads to call. Here's my suggestion. If you are only working like 15 or 20 direct mail leads each week, that's not even enough leads to work full time. So even if you are a pro on the phone, you're probably still better off just door knocking them. But on the other hand, if you're working like 30 to 40 direct mail leads each week, lots of leads coming in, then yeah, 
it makes sense to get on the phone and set some appointments. The trick is to work your way up to having 30 plus leads each week and having phone days mixed with field days. You want to book up your days as much as possible and in between your set appointments, door knock the leads that either, I don't know, you can't get a hold of or that even tell you to piss off on the phone or they tell you they're not interested. Those leads are still in play no matter what is said on the phone. Just take the lead to the client's house, stick that sucker right up to their face and you'll be surprised how many people are nicer in person than they are on the phone. For a copy of the aged lead door knocking script, along with the agent evaluation, you know, the referral form, just email me at doug at ufesonline.com. For more information on selling final expense with us, just shoot me an email at that same address. Remember guys, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else will usually fall right into place. Now, get out there and do something good for someone today. Happy hunting.